I'm pregnant right now. Now I gotta sit here and think real fast on my feet of a response because you're all in my business. Some people are like serial daters because they think that being serious is gonna take all the fun out of it. You can have so much fun with your partner if you pick the right person. Everyone does not need lip filler. I think half of y'all be looking crazy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Hey friend, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara BNA. If you are new, you've already made your way to my channel, so you might as well stick around. So go ahead and subscribe and turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me because you're going to enjoy the vibes over here, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some makeup. I got all my goodies right here so we can play in. I feel like I haven't like really beat my face in a really, really long time. And we're going to talk about some random things that I feel strongly about. Like, literally, my opinions, I will die on a hill with my opinions, okay? If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, comment down below in the comment section so we can have a little discourse going on because I would love to see how y'all feel about these topics, okay? And if you want to, like, add a topic, go ahead. You have full range, honey, because I'm trying to see what's tea, okay? So, um... I'm going to tell y'all all the products that I'm using just in case you are curious, but it's not going to be a tutorial because we have to, something just went in. we have to, you know, make sure we save time in between to talk about topics. So yeah, I'm going in with this, um, I just said it wasn't a tutorial, please just be quiet. While I moisturize, let's go ahead and start talking about our first topic. So everyone thinks that, um... Your 20s are supposed to be your grind time, okay? You're supposed to grind and go crazy during your 20s. So when your 30s hit, you can just sit back and relax and live life. And I'm like, that's cool and all. Um, It sounds like a picture-perfect idea. Like, everyone would love to have that be the case for them, right? But I just feel like that's that thought process, like that, that way of thinking is just so freaking unrealistic. And it puts so much pressure on young individuals who are trying to figure it all out and they know they don't have it figured all out. I'm also not gonna try to cuss a lot in today's video, so please bear with me. Um, Cause I got a potty mouth, y'all, and I'm really not trying to do that in, in today's video. So basically my unpopular opinion on this topic is I feel as though your 20s are for failing. As soon as you hit your 20s, you're kind of, yeah, you're an adult, but you're like a baby adult. I feel like when you turn like 21, you're really 11. When you turn 26, you're really 16. Like, let's knock 10 years off of it because you're still just now figuring things out. First off, we're doing things for the very first time. Like, moving out getting real jobs, finishing school, entering a new era of school. Like if you go to grad school, if you go to law school, like you're doing all this stuff for the very first time. Like why do we put so much pressure on this specific age range? It's just so stupid to me. So instead of doing all that, I feel like your 20s are supposed to be the time where you like try new things. You literally try and try and try over and over again and you're going to experience failing you're going to experience succeeding through it like it's supposed to be a mix of it all because that's how you like that's really how you learn like those different circumstances though those different situations are going to present you with some lessons that like regular life isn't going to be able to teach you like if you just thriving through everything and you never mess up you never have an effort like you never slip you never you, like, you never get caught lacking, basically. Like, you're never going to learn. If everything is handed to you, if everything comes so, like, swiftly and easily, you, you're not going to walk away with no knowledge, no wisdom. Like, you know? I don't know. And it's like, we, we expect teenagers to, like, be rebels and F up and be young and wild and free, right? So why then do we turn around and expect so much from 20 year from 20 year olds? That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. You know, sometimes the eyebrows be coming out real cute and other times they be looking a little crazy and today they're trying to look crazy. And I don't really appreciate it. I think it's cause I'm using a new spoolie, I swear. When you use a new spoolie and a new edge brush, Things don't be trying to work out. So yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm using my 20s to try new things. I'm using my 20s to figure out what I really want. I'm using my 20s to like fill out corporate America and see how I feel about it. See if this is something I want to like continue doing for the rest of my life. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> uh, it ain't. Um, I thought about 
about going back to school. Y'all, sometimes I'll be thinking about going into real estate. Like, y'all know I love creating content, so already doing that. I'm just doing things and seeing what sticks. Like, I also get bored really fast, so I feel like this is helpful because once I'm... Once I get bored of one thing, I can go to another thing and see how I feel about that. And I feel like taking it out of the professional, like, aside of professional things, I feel like this is the time where you're supposed to make new friends, cut off old friends, and see who you like, see who you like to hang out with, see what you like to do, what type of passions you have, what type of side hustles and hobbies you want to get into. This is a time where you date around, and if you don't like them, go on to the next. Like, this is the time where you, like, literally just throw yourself into so many different things and see, like, what floats your boat. And for my babies who like still live with their family, that's still living at home, this is the perfect opportunity for you to go nuts. Like, don't limit yourself to one type of thing. Don't limit yourself to doing one one thing, hanging with one type of person. Like, I feel like that's the only way you really like figure yourself out, you know? I did not show y'all what product I'm using right now. Oopsies. But yeah, I'll say all that to say Society should stop putting so much pressure on 20 year olds because it's really not that it's really not that deep. Like it's really not that deep. <laughs> People need to be for real and stop acting like it's now or never. Because it's not. Once you figure out what you really like to do, you're gonna have the rest of your life to do so. Sometimes my moisturizer doesn't like this primer. Y'all cannot believe I got sent this product. Like I did not pay for this. I did not pay for this. I paid for this little itty bitty baby one. And then I realized I really like it. And I sold this on Skeepers. And they sent this to your girl for free. I love Skeepers. If you don't know what I'm talking about. You gotta go back and watch some of my older videos. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm not re-explaining it. But yeah. My face real tacky. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that sit. Just for a little bit. While we go to the next topic. Unpopular opinion, I feel as though it is so stinking rude to sit in somebody's face and ask them, so when are you having kids? I'ma forever stand on that hill. That question is rude AF. That question should sit right with um, other things you're not supposed to ask women. Like, um, you're not supposed to ask women they age. You're not supposed to, if you think a woman is pregnant, you're not supposed to ask them, like, when their due date is or if they're pregnant because what if they just like built like that you know like i feel like that oh oh my god i'm not sure y'all what i'm using bye i'm not used to this i'm not used to this i'm not used to this i'm not used to these type of videos i'm gonna get there though okay i'm gonna get there let's see if that's enough and if not i'll add more i just feel like that's such a rude question to ask somebody because even if you know the person, people could like change how they feel about things. So first off, you don't even know if someone is capable of having children. So why would you ask that question? I just think that's so rude. What if someone came up to me and asked me and they don't even know the health concerns, the health situations I got going on. They don't even know like if I can or can't. If And if I couldn't, I'm not saying that I can't. But if I couldn't and someone asked me that, do you know how horrible I would feel? Like, especially if I really want children and I can't have kids. Why would you, why are you sitting down, why are you sitting there asking somebody? Like, I don't know. That's just a little too personal of a question in my opinion. Like, don't be asking me that. For one. For two, what if I can and my partner can't? And we in an effed up situation because that's like putting strain on our relationship. And now I'm, uh, I'm sitting over here thinking about that because you're all in my business. And you, you can't mind yours. You can't mind business that pays you. That's irritating. That's irritating. What if I'm currently going through a miscarriage? Y'all don't think about that? Huh, see, what if I don't want them? <laughs> like, what if I don't even want kids, girl? That's why you should mind your business. What if I'm pregnant right now? And like, I'm not ready to get that information. Like, dang, I gotta sit here and lie. Now I gotta sit here and think real fast on my feet of, of a response because you're all in my business. Now I'm over here flustered because you can't mind your business. Like, I don't know. I just don't like when people ask me. Like, I want children. I can't wait until I have a family, actually. But I refuse to have a family before I can provide for them in the ways that I want to. Like, I have a very specific 
picture in my head of what I look like as a mother and how my children are going to be raised and taken care of. And if my life is not set, if my life ain't set up like that, I'm not having kids. Man. Simple, simple, simple. And y'all need to stop asking these young women when they're going to have kids because, girl, I have time. Like, everybody talking about the biological clock. Please be so for real. Like, please be so for real. I'm not that old. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, do that. And I feel like ever since I've gotten in my relationship and people have realized that we've been in a relationship for quite some time now, I get this question a lot. And I know the people who usually ask me mean well when they have like good intentions and they're probably just like excited for me to start that journey in life. When you get asked over and over again, it's just be like, all right, come on, wrap, wrap it up. Well, um, this no longer says Juvia's, <laughs> Juvia's Palace, but it's Juvia's Palace. Ain't that what it's called? In the color 17. It's like way too light for me. But yeah, I just feel like that's a very dense question. And it's a, so, so many things can come from it. Like it's so situational. And for a lot of people, like I'm in healthcare, so like, a lot of people don't realize like how how common it is for people to like experience miscarriages or have troubles having kids because we see so many nowadays everybody be pregnant. You see so many people pregnant all the time. You really that's not really your first thought. Like oh what if they came or what if they're what if this is a tuppy subject for them? So I just feel like certain people should keep that in mind because you don't want to make nobody feel uncomfortable. I hope you don't want to make nobody feel like I'm pretty like, girl. Oh my God, I'm like so far deep into my makeup and I'm just now realizing that I actually wanted to try to do a, um, a eyeliner look. And when I used to be my face regularly, I would do my eyeliner first. Like I would do my shadow, my eyeshadow and eyeliner before my face. So now I have to do it afterwards, that's crazy. Also, right now, I'm just sitting in front of my mirror. I mean, I'm sitting in front of my window, and it's providing such great lighting. Like, if you are a micro-influencer or someone who's, like, a baby content creator, and you're worried about getting all the, like, tools to film, don't forget about natural lighting and really bright and big windows. Okay. Because it's for sure coming in handy right now. Also, if you're interested in the brushes that I've been using... This one is from e.l.f. It's their putty. Yeah, putty primer brush. And I'm using a regular off-brand beauty blender. I think it's by Real Techniques. And I am about to set my under eye with a powder puff that I got from Amazon. If you want the exact link, click on the link tree link in my description box. And go to my makeup list. It should be there, girl, because I love these things. I'm gonna use the little bit of Laura Mercier powder that I have left. This is in translucent. I'm so upset. This was a gift from Sephora, and I just wanted to test it out. I gotta go get the real deal because I love this powder. And this is what she looks like. Girl, I'm over here petting for dear life, trying to get this powder out. You don't need much but she's really empty. Let me see how smooth that is. No, that's... <laughs> okay, so popular opinion. So many people feel as though this is like a Sephora angle brush. So many people think that you're in a relationship, both people should like one another 50-50. Like it should be evenly split and I will die on the hill. I feel as though whoever is the pursuer. Cause I know I'm straight and I don't want this to come off like super heterosexual because I know my audience is full of different type of people. Whoever the pursuer is should be invested and should like the person they are pursuing way more <laughs> not way more okay a little bit more than the person they're trying to get with you know and i feel really strongly about this this is fenty but she dusty 
Um, I feel really strongly about this if the pursuer is a man just because men are stupid. Most men are stupid and they get bored easily or they get something and then realize that they just wanted to like play and like not be serious. So yeah, with all that said, if they're actually serious, I still feel as though the, the man should be into the woman, woman more because... I feel like, woman, if we like you back, we're going to give you that same energy. If she's being pursued correctly, she's going to, and she actually likes you, she's going to give you the same energy back. You're never going to have to question it. Like, if we see someone that's really trying with us and putting effort into us, we're not going to leave you hanging. Um, Men, on the other hand, if you pers- I've never pursued a man, but I don't know. They just stupid and they get cocky and- They'll like get you and hit you and keep it pushing. And I don't, I don't want no parts in it. I'm using the wrong thing. Don't nobody got time for that. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. This is Juvia's Place palette. It's super pretty, perfect for the fall. And I'm going in with Ashanti, which is this brown. Just on my lids. This ain't no tutorial, but just in case you was wondering. But yes, if we are going into percentages, I feel as though they have to like you 60% and then the other person can like them back 40% because I, I don't want to like just say it to say it. Like I have serious reasons behind my stance on this, okay? For one, men will get something and then just, oh my god, the birds? Y'all, the birds be going crazy around my way. But in order for a man to really take something seriously, they have to treasure it unfortunately because they're they're idiots quite frankly and we all know they just mature super slowly it takes a lot for them to take something serious and like if the woman likes the man more he is going to play with her in her face no cut cards no f's given it's just like we don't want that okay we don't want that and i feel like unfortunately in order for a man to like really be serious about the woman he's pursuing he has to treasure her like God, treasure her like she the last diamond on earth for it to really work. Women innately are going to have so much passion behind them. We're automatically like super caring and nurturing and want to be intimate. And I don't know, it's just like we're full of love. So we're going to act on it. Not saying that men can't be this way either, but let's be real. Which, which gender shows it more, right? This is so like heterosexual side. And I say all that to say, dang, I should have showed y'all this before. I've ripped it. It's in the color whiskey. Oh, that looks horrible. Sorry, y'all. It's um from Urban Decay. They sent me this. <laughs> it's a liquid eyeliner. Um, it looks like this. But I, I say all that to, to say the pursuer needs to be super serious because they need to continue pursuing throughout the relationship. I don't think that you should get in a relationship and then boom, once you once you found who you want to be with, you don't got to put in no work no more. Is oh this the way you hold this? You see all that thick that thickness right there for that support. I am intrigued. I wonder do you have to shake this well? I should like read the directions or something. Shake well, yes. You have to. I feel like a man should constantly be pursuing their woman. Simple. The dating part of the relationship should never end. The little honeymoon phase should never end. A puppy love should never end. I feel like that's how you keep both parties involved and interested and you make sure that the other person isn't getting bored. Like, I don't know, that's just how you keep it, keep things spicy and, and, and entertaining. That's just how I feel, I don't know. Cause why not? Like, why, why would you do so much work to get in a relationship and then sit back and kick your feet up and then like, like not continue to put in that effort that makes no sense where's the fun in that like no and i feel like that's why some people are like serial daters like all they do is date 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 date, date and they don't really like sit down and get serious with someone because they think that being serious is going to take all the fun out of it i feel like a lot of people view relationships as something that's dull something that like you can't have fun with and oh you can have so much fun with your partner if you pick the right person Y'all, I'm real bold right now. When I tell you I haven't done liner in so long and I'm doing this like on camera, like I'm actually quite petrified right now. It's going on smoothly though. Whoa, sorry, I cannot really talk while doing this. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Not to fuck this up. Purr. Okay, this side was easy to do. Let's see if I can do the other one. I'll have to do the other one on cam off camera though, y'all, sorry. And okay, I think we did pretty good considering I haven't done this in so long. Um, and I went ahead and put on the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. So yeah. 
now it's time for my favorite part, which is the lippy. So yeah, I really hope I explain myself with the last topic. I don't want nobody to take offense to that. And if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Basically, to wrap it up, the pursuer needs to like the person that they are pursuing a tad bit more. And they need to stick with it throughout the years. If you're looking for something with longevity. If not, then go have fun. <laughs> and this doesn't really apply to you. But as for my lippy, everything has been removed off this lip liner. So just gives you a, a deep brown lip liner. Or one that just matches your skin tone well. Oh my god, random, unpopular opinion. Everyone does not need lip filler. Everyone does not need to overline their lips. I think half of y'all be looking crazy. Sorry, not sorry. And I, I know I can't speak because I got naturally big lips, but like, I be saying a lot of people that's, that's my skin tone that has natural full lips and y'all just be, Y'all just be going crazy with all the cosmetic little surgeries and stuff. Y'all be doing too much, in my opinion. But we gonna keep it pushing. But one thing I did want to talk to y'all about is um something I wish that existed, which was some type of like reality show for influencers. This is a Sephora cream lip stain. The color made in Italy. It's probably not showing y'all. But this idea popped into my head when we all learned about um, the content creators that made it into Forbes. This is a Revlon, it's oh, it's probably not showing in the color. Smoky Topaz, but I'm just like, dang, these people are millionaires, you know? They are literally rich off of content. They already have an audience. So many people are invested into their stories, like Monet, uh, uh, for example, Monet, everyone loves her. She's basically like the current girl next door. Like she's done so much and her fan base is like so solid to its core, it's crazy. Somebody had pointed out that out of all the people that made it into the Forbes list, she was the only person whose video like actually had like crazy views on YouTube under the Forbes account or something like that. And it's because the bond she has with her subscribers and her followers and the people that tune into her work. It be giving cult activity, like, <laughs> them people be riding or dying for her. So it just made me think, why we don't have a TV show, a reality TV show, that focuses on some of the most popular content creators? And if someone has the resources and capabilities to do this, I'm giving you, like, such an amazing idea, like... Sometimes I be talking to my man about stuff and he be like, do it. Like, you should do it. Like, you got these crazy ideas and they're good. You should, like, do it. I don't got the resources to do that. But I just find it crazy that it doesn't already exist. We already know a lot of people watch YouTube for two things. Music videos and content creators. If so many people are going to YouTube to watch these folks, why not put them on a bigger platform like a VH1 or MTV, just to name a few, and really, like, see the views like go crazy like i don't know this is charlotte tillsbury spray i don't even know if this is like in the camera girl but it's my favorite setting spray at the moment but i feel like that would be such an amazing opportunity for one the content creators that are on the show and then for two little micro influencers that really want to do this because i feel like so many people because of tiktok because of instagram because of ig i mean IG and Instagram is the same thing as her. YouTube, so many people want to be like, want to be in this world. Because our social medias are so like heavily saturated with this kind of vibe, it goes to show that a lot of people are in tune with it. So why not create a show that showcases the lives of these influencers that we really, really like and like really give us the nitty gritty and the ins and outs of what it takes to be a content creator like at that level because I don't know and I would love to see it. And like it would just give micro influencers the opportunity to learn, be inspired or be turned off by how much work or how stress and hectic that kind of world is like I couldn't imagine like I would love to but I would be so overwhelmed if I was Monet and I'm like constantly traveling this girl just bought a house and she's trying to get her house situated but she had to leave for Paris fashion week and then she turned around she on another trip for another brand and she's always she's always winning so consistent she's a she was a nursing student y'all like how does she 
she always say like how is this my life girl i know like how is that your life like i don't know i would i would want to know i would like to know that's like that's not an unpopular opinion it's just well clearly it is a little unpopular because it doesn't exist like i'm tired of the reality tv shows that are dedicated to the ig baddies and the entrepreneurs and the business owners we see that so much we see it on love and hip-hop we see it on basketball wives we see it on housewives of atlanta potomac whatever other location they have we've been seeing that on so many different shows it's time for something new and i feel like we don't have a show for influencers that's crazy like right now we got um the show that ari and erin tang on on bt plus i'm blanking on what the show is called something atlanta or whatever but like they're not they ain't make it as content creators they was popping on ig or they rappers let's let's actually create a space for content creators i think that would be cool so that's just like my unpopular idea but yeah y'all this is the mug this is how the face came out. My eyebrows are crazy right now because they need to be plucked and trimmed. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video of me talking about my unpopular opinions. Make sure you comment. If you agree, if you disagree, grow. Let's run the comments up. Talk to me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and let me know because I can film a part two. We can keep this going. We can turn this into a series, maybe, okay? Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, mama.